Okay, this video is about why you should always have a time delay on a compressor circuit. All right, um, and here's the model of the unit that I'm working on. All right, so enjoy the video. Hey world, how you doing? Hey, so what if you've got one of these controllers that's a Danfoss controller like this and you don't have a password to it? and it's nighttime and you need to get the thing running and you don't want the compressor going on and off because the temperature differential is set like it one on these things and no compressor protection so the compressor goes on and off every minute you know so key to the answer to it until the next day so you can get the password is put in a uh, five minute time delay uh, delay on brake just put it on the coil side of the co of the relay there you go, just do, use this, set it to four minutes, and then you get yourself a four minute off, off cycle for the compressor so it ain't slamming on and off. Alright, uh, thanks very much for watching, click like on the video, thanks bye. This is the make and model of the unit I'm working on here. Um, just took a few pictures here and uh, so you'd get an idea of uh, the make and the model, the voltage, the type of refrigerant in this unit, just a couple years old. This is what happens when you don't clean a condenser and the unit goes on and off like every minute because you don't have a time delay or you don't have the uh, digital temperature control set to have a time delay in it. You end up smoking relays and burning up wires when the compressors are slamming on, on and off every minute. So uh, this video, like I said, was about adding a time delay on the uh, coil side of the relay so that you can give the compressor some off time. All right, uh, hope you liked the video and uh, click like on the video and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Thanks for watching. Bye.